Okay, collective, I keep hearing, I've heard it for two days. Um, I've heard tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave. There is going to be a flood somewhere. I feel like when I see the word tidal wave, I look at the east coast of the United States. I look at the upper region of east coast. Um, so I look at the, I look at like the top of the east coast, which... I know New York is up there, but there is something else like right over y'all. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I don't know, but I feel like um like I look at like the the northern part of the east coast when I look at this and I see that maybe it trickles down or something like that. So I just want you guys to be careful about that. Also, I feel like um Again, I heard this morning mass shortage. When I looked to see if this was food, no, this is something else. Um, some sort of production. There's going to be a mass shortage of production in some way because wherever this product comes from or this thing comes from, that part of the country is going to be facing um, some sort of electrical outage or downage for quite some time i feel like it's a period of maybe 60 days or something like that that's going to put the production of something on the back end i feel like whatever this is is connected to um like babies baby formula something that maybe children need or use i feel like this comes from um either the middle east whatever this is or it could come from like china but there's going to be a production problem that causes a shortage of some sort of supply in the United States. Some something in a can. Aluminum a can. I, I cannot see a label on it. I just see like a silver can. So some sort of cannery might be affected by this production shortage. Also, I feel like work stoppage. I see a lot of I see a lot of domino affecting things happening. Like I feel like somewhere, maybe this is two or three countries I just saw um in Australia. So this may be happening on the continent of Australia too. I feel like there's going to be some sort of um work stoppage, protest work stoppage. So I see like work stoppages happening, protests happening. Then I see like there's a loss of power. There's like this ultimately looks to me like the little guys in very small ways topple the big guys. That's what this plays out to me like. It's like the people take their power back in the small ways that they can, but it keeps happening and it happens in such a deliberate fashion. It's also being supported, Full Body Goosebumps, it's also being supported by the weather or some sort of weather conditions that make the people at the top or the people that control, run things, make decisions, it breaks them down because now they no longer have the control of the people who, this is gonna get violent. Yo, I am... Um, I uploaded a video earlier called military called on citizens. I believe that this is how it's, this is how things start. This is, this is like, an, I'm looking at another piece of this. Let me get organized really quickly in my little Gemini hair really quickly y'all and figure this out for you. Hold on one second. Okay. The first place spirit takes me is to a farm. There's something being produced or this may be where some sort of stoppage of work happens on some farms or farmer stop or some major production is halted by, for some reason, I just got a strong feeling to want to smoke weed right now. <laughs> I like just got hit with like a joint. So this could have something to do with, um, I don't know what the relation to marijuana farms is here, but I'm just going to keep it moving. Okay. So first there could be some sort of issue going on with production in, um, food. There could be some sort of stoppage or farmers association deciding that they are going to, um, halt some sort of progress or, or, um, 
protests, they're going to come together maybe and um, boycott or uh, I feel like they're going to come together and do something to stop the work on farms. Okay. Now, why that? And I just saw Australia again. So while that's happening. Oh, yeah, really quickly. I'm Auntie Thick the Psychic. Thank you for stopping and watching my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and raise the vibration on this channel. If this message resonates, give me a like. This is a 100% collective psychic message. So if it doesn't resonate for you in the moment, I could be speaking to something that happened in the past. I could be talking to something you're going to experience in the present, or I can be making a prediction for your future. Either way it goes, it's important that you listen to the message in its entirety. If you were drawn here, something that I say may resonate with you or someone in your energy field in the future. Please subscribe to untithick.com and get a free collective message delivered to your inbox daily. I look forward to talking to you. Thank you for joining. Back to your regularly scheduled show. Comments below. I feel like there somewhere there's also a power shortage that takes place, right? That stops the production of something that comes overseas to the United States from being shipped. Okay, so it's going to become a very scarce resource for a little bit of time. I also feel like, yo, this is crazy. Okay, so while that's happening, I also feel like the truckers, yo, the truckers are about to go through something too. The truckers are about to be like, yeah, mm, work stoppage. I see like major tr like trucks just being like, like truckers being like, yeah, we're going to need this, this and that. We're not going to do this. this. This has something to do with safety, I think. Okay. And then I feel like some information is going to be released that's really going to set some people off. But I feel like the people who are being affected by this are like um, working cat class people, poor people. I feel like they're going to realize something. Something's going to come into like the forefront for them. And they're going to realize that like people have been standing on their backs like it's it's something else has been in their way or financially in their way or politically in their way and this is why they haven't been able to accomplish something do something or they've been getting backlash for something else right because a, a larger giant of some nature has been halting them right that happens that creates protests I feel like across the world in different places, it's just going to be mayhem. People are like, fuck this. I'm done with this. I mean, I feel like the workers, the people who get up early in the morning, who have to work to pay for, you know, their lifestyle, to take care of their families. These people are like about to fight back with what they know best. And that is to stop, to come together and to stop working. They're going to do all these different things, create like this domino effect. It is going to break down some sort of system. Oh, that's going to cause some people to get pissed. Now, let me tell y'all also, we got to start naming our heroes. <laughs> like... We got to start naming our heroes, okay? Because I feel like that there are people... Now, before I say this, for some reason, I feel like the military is going to have a problem, but that's not going to stop me from saying what I'm going to say. Spirit, you got me, right? Archangel Michael, protect this reading and protect your girl, okay? I love all of y'all. All right, so, um, Jesus, thank you, bruh. I love you, too. Thank you. So, uh, full protection on this side. <laughs> Afraid of nothing. Um, but y'all set up a GoFundMe if a motherfucker try to uh, arrest me or some shit. Okay. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm serious. Kind of, sort of, not really. Okay. So, anyway, um, I feel like y'all, the, 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 the heroes are the hackers. <laughs> Like the hackers are, the hackers are like going to begin to work in conjunction with the workers, 
right? They're going to begin bottom of the body goosebumps for progress. That means that this is coming. Um, the hackers are going to be working in alignment with the workers. So as things happen, I feel like hackers are going to be releasing information that that normal people would not have access to. They're going to ex help expose something going on in government. I feel like they're going to be like Julian Assange was, and I keep mentioning him. I mentioned him in the last reading. I don't know why Spirit keeps using his name, but they're using it. So I'm using it. Okay. I feel like he was ahead of his time, but they're about to, about to be a bunch of him. They're about to be a bunch of people like him on the forefront, coming out, exposing things that they know. And here's T. A lot of these people are in government right now. They're in the military right now. They're on police departments right now. And they are all going to be, they, they're going to start telling. They're going to start telling the truth of what they know. Y'all, it's going to be a serious ripple effect that takes place. And then that's what brings in the military in a lot of places across the globe in major cities where you would never expect to see the military take over. So I am sure that this collective message is a follow-up from, from those downloads that I got earlier today while I was making breakfast. So peep that other video, um, military called on citizens after video evidence. I think it's something like that's the title and put them together. Yeah. I'm Auntie Thick. I love you so much. I'll talk to you soon.